Okay, so here we are over at our green manure crop. Green manure as in this is going to be ploughed in uh, to act as a natural fertilizer. And it is peas and barley. <coughs> Mainly because that's what I had left over after seeding the rest of the farm. Would have liked to have put uh, buckwheat or mustard in here, but it's uh, quite a job getting uh, organic seed up here in this part of the world. So rather than um, mess about and wait for the stuff to arrive, if I could find any, I used the stuff that I had on hand, peas and barley. So let's have a look at what we got. Okay, well here's our barley and here's our pea plants. Uh, these are some that went on the surface. So just these are just beginning to uh, to germinate. Whether they're going to be viable or not, I don't know. But anyway, so if you look at this, this is the remnants of the um, the grass that was in this field uh, prior to ploughing it up. Uh, this was a meadow, pasture, call it what you like, and grazed by horses for probably 20 years or more. Um, the grass is in a terrible state. And uh, it was very, very bumpy in here. There was willow bushes four feet high, and oh man. Uh, but I mowed it last year and baled the hay, and uh, it was... Had a lot of fiber in it, let's put it that way. When I rolled the pails out in the winter for my cows, they had a great time uh, kicking all the twigs around. <laughs> so anyway, but yes, the uh, the grass had formed a turf and it was probably two inches thick and it was just like a a coconut, uh, coconut matting that you'd wipe your feet on at the back door. It was virtually indestructible, so... Uh, so I ploughed it in deep, about 8 inches, 9 inches. And it's going to take a fair old while to rot down. And uh, what I'll do when this, when these peas have grown to uh, the flower stage, I'll disc them in and I'll disc them in to a depth of 3 to 4 inches. And uh, Hopefully we'll have enough air and bugs in the top layer of soil to break this down and then this will be the fertilizer for next year's wheat crop. That's the plan anyway. Um, as you look down the field you can see um, yellow patches uh, which is fairly typical of plowing in um, alfalfa. There was a little bit of alfalfa on this side and grass on that side. Yeah, you can see the yellow down there. So once again, we're looking at uh, a little bit of stress, a little bit of nitrogen deficiency. We've had a lot of rain this year. Um, not so much on this field, but this field's probably had uh, two inches of rain since it was drilled about two weeks ago. Ten days, two weeks, something like that anyway. Uh, the germination's not too bad. Um, if you look down, I'm pretty happy with it. There's just a, a wet patch there that uh, I nearly got stuck in when I was disking, but we did manage to work it and it, it's dried out a little bit. Um, so yeah, there is our green manure crop. I'll show it you again um, when we're getting ready to, uh, to disk it in. Okay, it's good night from me. <laughs> it's good night from Sasha, who's trying to beat me to death with a stick. <laughs> okay, look after yourselves, look after one another. Bye bye.